I thought I'd share my experience of owning a Malshi dog. Am I happy that we chose a Malshi? Or not? I'll try to explain what characteristics, I like. Cover any possible negatives, that I can think of. And I'll also cover some of the general questions, people tend to ask about the Malshi dog breed. Our Wookiee dog is a cute, female, Maltese Shih Tzu mix. And at this point, is fully grown, at a little over 4 years of age. The Malshi, is a relatively small breed. Our Wookiee, has grown to 20 inches in length, and stands at a height of 15 inches. So a bit larger than a Shih Tzu, but not by much. The weight of our fully grown adult, is 15 to 16 pounds. That's 7 kilograms. This would be considered an average, to large sized Malshi. One of the first questions I'll answer is. Do Malshi puppies change color? And the answer is, yes. They tend to have much darker colors when they are young. As they age the coat will become a lighter version. The hair on Wookie dog's ears changed from a dark charcoal color. To a light gray tint by the time she was 12 months of age. If the Malshi's coat is allowed to grow out, the dog will have features similar to the Shih Tzu breed. The hair around the face, and hair growth on the ears will look like Shih Tzu's, but the snout of the dog protrudes further out. This is a benefit of the Maltese mix, Malshi dogs won't have the severe breathing problems that are common with Shih Tzu dogs. But on hot days it is advised to only take them on short walks, as they can overheat, and develop breathing problems. Our Wookiee does tend to seek some shade on long walks. She will have a short rest before jumping back into action. We typically walk Wookie for half an hour each day, she loves to go for walks and is happy to go on much longer walks on the cooler days. But after half an hour she will start to slow down. Wookie lives for dog walks. Well dog walks, food, treats and pats. So if you are active, then Malshis are a great choice. Wookie would never say no to a walk, she actually gets a little too excited if she hears the word, walk. With age, that will change. But they are an active breed and love to play. Wookie is a bit stubborn but she is smart and can learn new games. But she typically turns most games into a tug of war game as that's her favorite. She will leave the current game to go get something to wrestle with. She is very competitive. She wants to win the game or to be the fastest at the beach. And funnily enough, she will get a bit frustrated if another dog outdoes her. Overall Malshi dogs grow to a really manageable size, they are a fun sized dog with loads of energy and character but also love to settle down at night as a lap dog. The Malshi breed is a good choice for a lap dog. They could be considered a bit too large. But they definitely love to cuddle, love the family environment, and are extremely affectionate dogs. Nothing makes Wookie happier than having all the family together at night. We commonly don't let her just lick us. But I think she really loves to express her affection for us. Wookie loves a sneaky lick. And at night Wookie is happy to lay on your lap to have a sleep. It has to be said most of the time she does expect pats. When you stop patting her she'll jump off your lap to look for another family member. Our Malshi isn't overly social with other dogs. She wants the interaction, but is also aware that not all dogs are going to be nice. Unfortunately, when she was young, two much larger dogs attacked her on the beach. That has definitely shaped her demeanor. She tends to avoid larger dogs when on walks, and if any excited dogs come charging over to say hello, she is likely to give a small growl to warn them off. But that's a total front, she's just warning them to stay away. When she has been attacked, she didn't fight, she just wanted to run away. With dogs of a similar size, she is desperate to say hello. She tends to learn dog behavior by playing with other dogs. It's quite amusing to see. She will copy what other dogs are doing. Sometimes stopping with her head tilted. Studying what the other dogs are doing. And then playing out their actions perfectly. Wookie dog isn't overly vocal. And no, Malshi dogs don't bark a lot. That is a common question I hear. She will bark, if someone enters our property. And she also likes to bark, if any other dogs come close to the house. But Malshis aren't the type of breed, that just bark for no reason. We have taught her from a young age, that she can't just bark at the whole neighborhood. It is likely she would bark more, without the time spent training her, not to bark. When interacting with the family she is never vocal. She will have a whimper while trying to show us that she's hungry. Or that she's wanting to go for a walk. But she has never barked at us. So I can say, that Malshis are easy to train. They might not be the smartest dog breed, but they are keen to please. And so they are willing to learn new tricks, or behaviors. Wookie loves treats. It's easy to teach her new simple tasks, if she's hungry and treats are on offer. Like with all dog training, it just takes repetition, good training practices, and patience. And then loads of praise, when the dog makes any form of progress. Overall, we are extremely happy, that we have our Malshi dog. I typically own larger dogs before Wookie dog. But she is such a manageable size, which I really like. Their coat is easy to maintain. 
they can smell a bit if they haven't been washed in weeks. But hey, that's expected, and although they don't drop much hair at all, they will need grooming on a weekly basis, otherwise, they will get matted hair. There are no extreme problems associated with the breed, at least none that are overly apparent, and at this point, Wookie Dog hasn't had any health problems. Malshis are so affectionate, and Malshis are so playful. Overall, I think the Malshi Dog breed is a good choice for a new owner or an experienced dog owner. They seem to enjoy the company of older people, but also know when to be gentle. I'm very happy we have our Malshi, Wookie Dog.